Spoonful Herbals is really dedicated to working at the local level to foster connections to plant medicine at really like the backyard and homestead level. And we also work within Burlington, Vermont, food and medicine system and build relationships with farmers to support gleaning and improving access to local plant medicine. But a big motivator for the work is this concept of wellness sovereignty. Sovereignty in general is about self-empowerment, and so Spoonful envisions a future in which every human being feels empowered to care for their bodies and sort of know what they need to support optimum health and well-being, and then knows how to find a lot of what they need in their surrounding natural environment and then bring those plants into their kitchen and prepare them for themselves and their families. Plants have a huge part to play in an, an equitable future. You know, we might not have the money to go to the doctors, but we do have the ability to walk down the street, find dandelion, make tea out of the root, and reduce allergy symptoms. I feel like our medical system is really focused on making sure that people's bodies have a pulse, but don't yet have the tools to attend to body, mind, spirit, wellness that really helps people fully experience life, especially the joy and magic that life offers. We have a lot of programs that are designed to introduce people to legitimate forms of plant medicine, help people identify it, help people harvest it, help people prepare it. We also offer an herbal CSA program, which is really designed to expose people to really simple plant medicines like fire cider or wild weeds and nettle pesto. And we share recipes so that people can be inspired to make it because it's delicious and then actually make it themselves. Herbal medicine traditionally has been made in a community setting and a lot of our members wanted to learn more deeply how to do this. So we started the apprenticeship program this past season. We partnered with BSAC, the Vermont Student Assistance Corporation, to provide financial assistance to improve access to our programs. And that's been like one of the most fulfilling things that we offer. Yeah, it's pretty good. And I see it not as new skills, but like reskilling, bringing back these old skills of plant medicine that primarily in America, because of some of the history around suppression of this type of knowledge, we're needing to sort of like reacquaint ourselves with that information. People do know more than they think they know, and they have more connection than they think they know, and they sometimes just need to be re-reminded. It's just very telling with climate change and with all the erosion that we're having into rivers and streams and lakes, and we don't really care that much. Our natural world is anemic at the moment, and we're not investing in it, even though, you know, the alarm bells have been ringing for a long time. People assume that, that humans can only hurt the environment, that we can never have a positive effect on the environment. While it's not strictly about herbal medicine, I think that a really important part of what Catherine and I try to impart in all our teachings is that we can cultivate a reciprocal relationship with nature. I think it's so important in our culture that is so starved for being hands-on with the natural world. I just love being able to cultivate that in people. We are of nature and the more we can be with nature and reintegrate as humans, I think the greater capacity for healing we have. Medicine woman Walking with grace, I know your face and I trust your hand.